Cape Campers. As you can tell, well, you can't tell, can you? We're in the Peak District and we're making our way up Grand Brook Clough. Never done that climb before, always wanted to. It's supposed to be a nice scramble. So, as you can see, that's the uh, Kinder Scout there. The plan for today is, as I said, we're going to Grand Brook. Greensbrook, whatever you think you call it, I don't know. And from there, we're headed to somewhere like Woolpax or somewhere, somewhere in that direction, somewhere we can get a nice sunset. So, let's crack on here. So, what the crack is, is to follow this boulder field all the way up get through and then we'll be popping up there somewhere if we make it that is we're just at the fork on ground brook it splits right or left in the fork and uh, I watched somebody's video and he says this way is the easy way and that's where the hard way I can't remember which way he said uh, and the beavers if you're wondering bloody hell that's a big old bastard bee piss off so I'm gonna stop talking shit and crack on Well, that's where we come from, all that. It's a right bloody slog, but we made it. Nice scramble getting up Grandsbrook. Hard work, but cracking. It really is a good plan. Recommend that. We're making tracks. You've got Brown Knoll running round to Lord Sea, round to Mantor, Hollins Cross, but you can't see any of that. There isn't a single cloud in the sky. Plenty of wind though plenty of that. So this is a uh, Crowden Brook. I'm going to uh, just grab me some a bit of water from here. I'm not actually film filling it up because there's people about and I look a total twat water. Right, we finally made it into the tent. Finally set up. What a bastard ball ache we've had. Because we normally have a northwesterly wind over Kinder Scout. Today for some reason we've got like a south easterly so all the pitches are all in the wind. Yeah I've had a right nightmare trying to find a pitch. Proper knackered. Back to killing. I maybe should have had a week off really. Probably taking the piss doing it every week. So we're all set up in the tent as you can see. Finally just got me sent a coffee made. Life's starting to feel just a little bit better now. Bad news I think I've slept in a fucking piss puddle as well. It, I can't tell what it is, but it stinks of piss. The time is 20 to 8, 1939. The sun goes down at 10 past 8 or thereabouts. I've got a camera set up on time lapse. Watching this go down. So at the minute, all my admin is in a total nightmare at the minute. I really need to get all my admin squared away. It's in rag order. But I ain't doing jack shit until I've had my brew. So we're on the wool packs on Kinder Scout. Looking pretty sweet. The man that you can see just sticking up there in the centre, that's Swan's back, or I believe it to be Swan's back. The rock's just there, I believe to be no stool. And then these ones here, Pym Chair, or Pym Chair, P-Y-M. It's a bit windy. We do about 30 mile an hour wind, 45 mile an hour gusts. I, can't, I couldn't find anywhere, anywhere whatsoever out the wind. I was having a right ball ache, so I've just managed to find this pissy patch in someone's bloody piss puddle. This little bit of banking might just give me enough cover from the wind. It's fucking awful, but it's, it's the best I could do with a view. So there she is, there's the bobcat flapping about in the wind. Well, the bobcat's not, but the tarp's flapping about in the wind. Pitching too bad, it's a little bit bumpy. Probably gonna have a shitty sleep, so I brought myself some whiskey. See if we can get myself knocked out with that stuff. Probably not. The sun is getting pretty low now. Probably got what 10 15 minutes left, and then that'll be gone. So it's gonna be looking for getting on the night on nine o'clock before it's proper pitch black up here now. So I'm gonna have my drink so you can get one for the time being, which is time lapse. Do you 
me a loyalty Cause I'm taking the world you'll see They'll be calling me, calling me They'll be calling me royalty Best to give me a Raining. The weatherman talks but a crap. Well, chicken tikka. This is what you get, look. See that? You get plenty of meat in it normally. And I don't even like curry, but this isn't too bad. I don't like spicy stuff. Right. I'm going to finish the tea. Yeah, I'm going to finish the tea. I'm not feeling it on this one, lads. Shit, I had my chicken tea kept. Not bad. Wasn't as good as the last time I had it, though. It seemed a little bit stodgy. So I'm only going to give it an 8 out of 10. I've got um, chocolate brownie and then the typical, usual, all-day breakfast. This is how the expedition tarp is coping with the wind at the moment. As you can see, I've got the storm flap guy lines going up to the um, top of the front pole. Right, oh, yeah, it's windy. It's probably not the greatest setup today, if I'm quite honest. So, got the tarp pegged out here. I've just wrapped, what I've literally done is just wrapped that round the peg three times and then sent it out to that middle peg over there. Just so that I can get it as low to the ground as possible so that hopefully the wind will push off it and go up. We'll see. Well, we've just got a, got a bit of water on the go. Mainly, I've just got the uh, alcohol burner just to entertain me. Obviously, I've said before, you can't have a fire on these mountains. So the best thing that you can do, or the closest thing, is having a little alcohol burner. And it just gives you a nice little sort of a fire. So you can see that temperature. Yeah, not bad, three and a half degrees. I can't quite make my mind up whether to have me chocolate brownie or not. I've gone around and sorted loads of things out on the tarp and the tent as well because when I pitched it, it was in shit state. It's not the greatest setup and it's out the wind a little bit but not enough. It's giving this corner, the front left corner, a right battering. Oh, we ex in tonight again. Might get another one or two camps out of the levy in, and then it's definitely back to the uh, the warmer weather bags. 20 past 10 now, about to have a little wash. As you can hear, it's fucking pissing down. Right, what we've got here is talcum powder. Towel, bare socks, and wet wipes. One sock, off. Wet wipe. Not putting my trotters on that bloody screen. Put your foot on the uh, on your towel before you start tricking talc on. You don't need to take the piss, you only need a little bit. I don't know if it's a thing these days, but it used to be a thing in the army when I was in. And fresh socks on. Sweet, one done. Right, boxers next. Wet wipes. Now, well, you want a bit of talc. Now we can get our bottom half in the sleeping bag. Oh, lovely and warm in there. Now, we're going to do the top half.
So that's us done with the talc and the whites. And we've still got a couple left just to do his face. This is by choice. This will grow back anytime it wants. Right, well that's how we used to get washed when we was playing at soldiers. Another shit tip from Wattie. So you've had your lesson of how to get washed and sorted out in a little tiny bob cap. So don't say it can't be done, scruffy bastards. So I'm gonna get my head down now. It's about half twelve or something stupid like that. See how this rain goes in the wind. Tomorrow it's gonna be a soggy fucking tear down. And it's gonna be a, a very wet walk back to the car down the hill. But we knew that. But we didn't expect the rain to be here through the night. That was supposed to be starting tomorrow morning. So I think that's it for tonight then. I'm gonna get my head down, or at least try. So night. Well fuck my life. <laughs> Knackered.com. So it's gone two o'clock, like quarter past two. So I've got a film on in the background to try and drown some of the noise out of the rain, but it's doing barely nothing. So what I mean about the rain? You think it's got worse, and it just gets worse. So there's no point filming this anymore. You get the idea, it's pissing down, like, pissing down big time. Right, enough bloody chattering. I'm going to try and shut my eyes for at least an hour and a half, at least, hopefully. Night, night. Morning campers. Rough as fuck. An hour and a half, two hours sleep, or something stupid like that. Finally got to sleep. Not long after I woke up sweating, so I've just got up, got dressed, so I'm not far off ready to go. I'm just gonna wait for first light to come. Start packing my tent down. We've just got the trend here on the boil. Got my breakfast in there already. So nothing to report at the minute. 25 past 5 and the light is starting to come through. Just waiting on that to boil. Once that's boiled, breakfast time, have something to eat, have something to drink and get all this soggy shit packed down. One of the best things in the morning. Get that brown liquid down you. Looking pretty grim here. Hey. Pretty bloody grim. Almost finished my coffee. Just a little bit left. I'm gonna have another little cup and then I'm gonna contemplate taking that crap down. It's bloody nippy. You can feel the cold in the hands today. And it's it's only like three degrees or something like that. It's not even that cold. I've had my breakfast, usual all day breakfast. Nothing to report, same old shit, beans and horse meat. Yep. As you can see, it's all clagged out. It's all wool packs. I want to get this down before the weather starts coming in. All we're going to do with this is just stuff it in with the rest of the stuff. But if you notice how I'm stuffing stuff in, this is pretty much how I pack stuff at home. I just stuff it all in. Okay, let's get the inner down. This is the water that we collected yesterday. As you can see, it's not really clear. That's peating it from the ground. But we don't need this, so we can get rid of that. I'm going to finish off 
getting this stuff packed away, nearly there now. Just a few little odds and sods, and then the tarp, and then we'll come to As you can see, we're all squared away, all packed down, everything's in the bag and everything's good, everything's ready to go. That's where we was, just up there. You see them clouds rolling across. You're not going to be seeing much today. Well, if you got this far, well done. Since you got this far, you might as well click that subscribe button and the like button. And we'll see you on the next video. Cheers for watching. What we're going to do, just have a quick gander around. Let's look around the site, make sure I've not left any shit, any pegs, any poles, or any plastic or any rubbish. And then we can leave a piece of iron and we left it as we found it. It still stinks of piss. Let's make tracks here. Soldier, I keep on moving forward. Always getting closer. Marching till it's over. And just like a soldier. I keep on moving forward. Always getting closer. I'm marching till it's over. And just like a soldier. I keep on moving forward. Always getting closer. on top of Grand Lone Hall. Bloody grim, eh? Getting blown about all over the shop. But it makes you feel alive. Just got to get down off the mountain. We'll make his way down Grand Lone Hall track, down Broadley Bank. We'll pick up the path into Edale, hang around, past the train station, into the car, get the fuck out of here. I might have said earlier, but I'm going to have a week or two off now, so there's not going to be no video. After this video, it's going to be about two weeks before the next one, at least. My body needs some time to rest and recuperate, so does my bank account. Don't forget, like, sub, all that fancy shit. Get commenting downstairs. Cheers, geezers. <laughs>